David Menzies for Rebel News here at the Toronto Congress Centre. And we're here, folks, because this is where Justin Trudeau is. He's giving a speech to a, um, an association of auto parts manufacturers. Hey, the auto industry, crucially important to Canada. I'm surprised it's still uh, thriving under the blackface liberals. But I'm here with Derek. Uh, wherever you see Derek, you know Blackface is nearby. And we just understand, um, Derek, that his speech has wrapped up. What question, I know there's so many you want to ask, if you only have time to yell one at them, what are you going to ask the Prime Minister? Well, I'm going to ask the Prime Minister to basically resign. Okay. Uh, and actually uh, call an election. What were you going to ask the Prime Minister? So the two questions that I specifically wanted to ask Mr. Trudeau is I was going to say, Prime Minister, why are you dodging Parliament? And then, if time permitted, I would have said, when will you apologize to Melissa Lanceman? So, Mr. Speaker, when did the Prime Minister lose his way? When did it happen? You right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Conservative Party members can stand with people who wave swastika. Can't, you know, just when you think it can't get any worse, and I'm talking about Chinese electoral interference, yeah. I'm talking about the India fiascos, plural, yeah. it gets worse. We have a Nazi in the House of Commons. Ukrainian-Canadian world veteran from the Second World War who fought the Ukrainian independence against the Russians and continues to support the troops today even at his age of 98. How did this happen? Well, it, it, it comes actually, I, I think a lot of, two things is, is they're stupid, to be honest with you. They're, they're not informed. They don't do their research with everything. You, you mean, you're also talking about uh, a government that only believes that they can manage us or, or rule, as they would like to say, with just ideology. Yeah. So anybody with half a grain of intelligence would have had the foresight to do a Google search, some kind of due diligence. Anyone, um, anyone should have been able to do this. The responsibility goes to the top. You can't throw an underling under the bus. It's just not going to work this time. The only thing that I really see going down is I see Justin Trudeau or the Liberal Party are totally imploding the only putting myself in his shoes the only thing i could really see him doing is dodging deflecting and throwing someone else whoever else he can under the bus even if that is a a, a pregnant woman of, of, of jewish origin as all this is unfolding it's just it, no words this was deeply embarrassing for the house and for canada um, it is a good thing uh, that Speaker Rhoda apologized personally. Just before 2 p.m. today, Derek, Anthony Rhoda resigned. It was yep. inevitable. Um, I was off by three hours in our office pool. Sure. Um, but is that enough? Are there other heads that should roll? And who should they be? Oh, well, well Christopher Freeland, for one. Uh, Justin even has to, take, uh, ha has to take ownership of this. But Justin doesn't. I, I meant Justin, the following day, he, he blames... Uh, propaganda from Russia, yeah, yeah, uh, false information from Russia. Russia can change history. Russia can wipe out his history past. I, I mean, it, it's just it's just ridiculous. He never takes any responsibility for anything. He never apologizes for anything. And unfortunately, Rhoda will line up uh, with Mendocino as another one that has to take the fall for his stuff. When Rob Schneider says Canada is country non grata, is that the start of something bigger? Are people going to find our nation less and less Credible. Quite honest, most of my friendship circle in New York are actually Democrat supporters, and their impression of Justin Trudeau is totally in the tank. I know ever since the Arrive Can uh, episode and with all the mandates, I know a lot of people are getting turned off, although most of my friends are really not political. But I know I can tell you emphatically that Americans definitely are noticing. We even had a congressional Democrat from California saying that he's going to be ordering a formal uh, report um, from, from the House Foreign Affairs uh, Committee just because Justin Trudeau will not take foreign interference seriously. This is the state of affairs that Americans have to take it seriously because our government does not. Well, folks, here we are at the Toronto Congress Centre trying to scrum Justin Trudeau. You know who you don't see here? The mainstream media. Yeah, they don't want to be too impolite to blackface given... Uh, 
how Nazi gate is unfolding. But you know what? We need your help. Unlike those people, we don't get a nickel of government funding, nor would we accept it if offered. Please go to rebelfieldreports.com. That's rebelfieldreports.com. And if you can make a donation, that would be greatly appreciated.